and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. All right, we've got the Taurus G3 holster for the Olight S and the Olight Mini. This fits both of them. The only difference between the two is the Olight S is a little longer than the Mini. Uh, so it takes both your uh, lever locking mechanism uh, is in the exact same place. Uh, it's just the length. They're the same width, same height, uh, and all that good stuff. The only difference between the lights themselves outside of the length is the Olight S is 800 lumens. The Olight Mini is 600 lumens. And they both have the lasers. You can choose uh, blue, red, or green. Uh, whenever you're choosing a laser, just make sure you pick the one uh, that your eyes pick up on best. Uh, red is the most commonly sold. However, I pick up better on green and I can hardly see the blue at all. So whatever you're choosing, just make sure uh, you check that out and see what your eyes pick up on best. Uh, all right, so we've made the, uh, the holster. We blocked it off for the light. We have the channel here with the, uh, the lip right here, the dip down that actually locks this in place. Uh, so you'll, uh, the lever lock will slide down the channel. It will click in place and it is made to be in the very back. Uh, right here you've got three rails basically or three slots on your rail um, it's made to be at the very uh, back uh, the one closest toward the grip you can put it in this one um, however uh, it's not going to be as secure locking it's going to lock on this one back here uh, and this is as far forward as your light can go uh, with this holster uh, so we made it a little further forward uh, for you guys that have the longer uh, fingers you go here uh, but for guys like me, uh, we would pull it back a little bit. It has the audible snap as well, so when you're inserting, uh, you'll put it in. Have that audible snap, and it's not just going to fall out uh, when you shake it. Um, pulls out real easy. Now you can tighten or loosen that uh, retention here. Got three retention points. I'll put some videos in the link below. Shows you how to utilize these retention points. Uh, and then you've got this... Um, belt wing the video below shows you what this belt wing does it basically tucks the gun back into the body your belt wing comes uh, with a small uh, riser mounted however there's a large riser in your uh, package uh, it comes with two belt clips both of the belt clips are um, mounted and they both have the retention the belt retention on them as well both of them have that belt retention that's something that you want uh, both of them can move up and down uh, or you can go one way with the other so you can make it camp forward or camp rearward uh, all of this hardware mounts over here uh, so you can be ambidextrous be inside or outside the waistband uh, and if you notice i have the compensator on mine uh, we've made these because a lot of the guys are going to the uh, late line industries compensators uh, so we've made this so you can have your compensator as well so this will stick out uh, and this will fit any compensator as long as it's not any thicker uh, than the actual slide right here. Uh, so as long as it's not any thicker than the slide, uh, your compensator will fit uh, in this holster. Uh, so there you go with this holster. Uh, this one fits both uh, the Olight S and the Olight, or the Olight Baldor S and the Olight, this is the Mini, uh, so it will fit them both. Snaps in, pulls out, uh, nice and easy. Uh, guys, go check us out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters. Thanks.